We begin with our big story. The search for answers continues following a murder rampage here in the valley. Six people left dead. The suspect killing himself as authorities moved in. Tonight, the killer's connection to the final two victims remains a mystery. Team 12's Bram Resnick is in Fountain Hills, where the first, for the first time, we're hearing what the killer's ex-wife knows. Bram? Dwight Jones' ex-wife, Connie Jones, tells 12 News through a spokesman that she has no connection to the people murdered inside that house. We're now learning that Brian Thomas, the 72-year-old killed there, was blind. A longtime friend of his companion, Mary Simmons, says she would have fought to save his life. Sharon Hall knows what her tennis buddy would have done. She would have fought so hard. 70-year-old Mary Simmons was the longtime partner and then caregiver for 72-year-old Brian Thomas. He couldn't be left alone. He couldn't see. Brain surgery had left Thomas blind. Dwight Jones was about to claim Thomas and Simmons as the fifth and sixth victims in his murder spree. Mary would have been fighting for Brian. Police tailing Jones later that Sunday saw him toss Simmons' gun out of his car. For him to get Mary's gun, Mary probably knew something was coming and ran for her gun and and would have fought really hard. Sharon Hall says Simmons was a star in their tennis group, but the last time they talked last week was about a new experimental treatment for Thomas. Mary was his caretaker and they had hoped for some new treatment. In Fountain Hills, Bram Resnick, 12 News.